Can you tell me where you were born? I was born in Maryland. I lived there three days. Uh, my parents were, my father was stationed in, in uh, Pennsylvania, and there was no hospital in the town, so they went across the border to Maryland, and I was born, and three days later, they went on to the next, um, next army, pay, army base that, that he was assigned to. I didn't just live on army bases, uh, I, and the ones that I did live in, I lived on an army base in Japan for five years, and I lived on army bases in Germany for four years, but I also lived in Monterey, California, uh, in a suburban house, and I lived in Arlington, Virginia in a suburban house. So the atmosphere on the army bases was that of a small town. Um, it was overseas in, in both cases for, for, for me, both in Japan and in Germany. Uh, it was post-war. The United States had fought Japan, so you can imagine what an army base in Japan might feel like. The, the defeated enemy was on the outside and the conquering army was on the inside. And it was a very privileged existence in, in many ways, um, but a very peculiar one. The best I can describe it is imagine a small town with lots of aircraft and lots of, of, of arms and a huge support system. Uh, they printed their own money uh, in Japan called script, so we didn't use Japanese yen or dollars, we used military money. The army base in Germany was, was similar except that the defeated people were, were Germans. I, I was two years in a little town called Oberammergau, which is right out of the sound of music. It's a little town in the Bavarian Alps with a, um, they have, it was a, a playground for Hitler uh, during the second, the second World War. The Americans took over all of, of, uh, of Hitler's places and turned them pretty much into army bases. And then I was in Frankfurt for two years, which was a big city. Uh, and the atmosphere was in Frankfurt, particularly maybe because I was uh, in junior high school at the time, which is always a peculiar age, you know, but uh, it, was, it was violent. I mean, the, the violent in the sense that the kids were uh, in, my, in the high school, in the junior high school, uh, they were tough kids. It was, it was very much like inner city. There were knife fights and there was, uh, kids would steal things off munitions trucks and uh, it, that was the way that you had fun, you know. And uh, so it, it was a peculiar atmosphere. And at the same time, it was extremely, um, it, was, it was a funny combination. I mean, there was a, a lot of really wonderful things about it. And for years, I, I was very dismissive of, of that and as a, of my identity as an army brat. And as I've you know, uh, gotten older, I realized there was a lot of really good things about it. I mean, it was a tough, tough thing, but if you survived it, it was good.